In the age of Periscope, print's not dead, but it can inadvertently kill people. The stay of the execution of Filipino drug convict Mary Jane Veloso in Indonesia broke past 2 a.m. Manila time on Wednesday, way past the deadline of Filipino newspapers' first editions and the bedtime of many print editors. Here's how the top three Philippine broadsheets reported on Mary Jane. The Philippine Daily Inquirer's headline goes, Death Before Dawn. The Philippine Star also has a dramatic headline, Screaming for Mercy, referring to the family of the Filipina maid and the eight other drug convicts who were executed. The Manila Bulletin, whose tagline goes, There's good news here, puts on a more positive banner story. We're hoping for a miracle, a quote from Marites Viloso, the sister of Mary Jane. While the newspaper story took hours to correct, online, the shift was as quick as a click. From hashtag Save Mary Jane, the hashtag Mary Jane Lives immediately trends worldwide. Sleepless netizens start their day by poking fun at what they call sensational headlines. Journalist Alan Robles tweets his own title, Veloso bids final farewell to erroneous inquirer headline. Pangasinan Congresswoman Kimi Kuanko says, My oh my, this is where social media is more credible than PDI. With Coconuts Manila reporting on the boo-boo, Inquirer releases a statement apologizing for its error. The PDI says, We promise our readers to do a better job. We are revamping newsroom processes. We share in the nation's joy, Mary Jane lives. Supporters of President Aquino throw virtual eggs at the Manila Standard, perceived to be anti-administration. The Standard's headline goes, Pinoy is to blame. Artist Jim Paredes tweets, Manila substandard can make a huge omelette, lol. Disgraceful spin that boomeranged. Another hard-hitting paper, the Manila Times, runs a similar headline, All Hopes Fade. Well, this isn't the first time the industry in a hurry killed newsmakers. From unverified hoaxes to accidentally publish obituaries, cynical journalists sometimes murder celebrities and politicians and in the process shoot themselves in the foot. Online, our version of this hall of shame is the screenshot. The king of Filipino political satire, the professional heckler, has a simple reminder. Do not assume. Ayumakraig, Rappler.